former ESCOM CEO Andre Durate made a slew of allegations of corruption, theft, maladministration, sabotage and lack of consequence management at the power utility. Now Scopa wants to get to the bottom of these allegations. First in the hot seat was the utility's outgoing head of legal who has described Durate's allegations as nothing new. Many of the environments made are not news to ESCOM. So it's um, the risks highlighted, the issues highlighted, um, have been highlighted in, in several platforms um, on different occasions, maybe not all packaged um, the way it was on that day. So what we have done is um, we have appointed an external legal firm to assist us with um, dealing with these environments. The first step was to engage with um, the former GCE and George Fivas, which has taken place. Um, they have committed to providing us with a copy of the report. With only eight months at the power utility, the head of legal will leave the company at the end of this month. Regarding how the matter of the departure of the former CEO, Andrew Rater, had been handled, her take appears to be in stark contrast with that of the board. I was not requested for legal advice. I did um, share my views with the acting GCE and the EXCO regarding the termination of his employment in the manner in, in which it was done. What, if, was if your, I, what was your view? One, I questioned the fairness. Two, I questioned what was actually said that has brought Eskom into disrepute. Because everything, um, okay, let me not, not say everything. The risks that have been highlighted, it's not news to Eskom. So I, I questioned what, um, what exactly has brought the organization into disrepute. This was flagged by the Scopa whip who wants the forensic report scrutinized. What is concerning um, with the first uh, uh, session was that um, the head of legal is contradicting what the board um, view as the bringing the organization into disrepute, hence the decision to let go of Mr. Andre Direta with immediate effect. Um, but what also is comfortable, uh, comforting on our side is that he, she shared the same sentiments that we hold as parliament, that Mr. Direta was not supposed to be let go without answering to the questions that led to the interview. Some of the allegations are around the flouting of procurement processes and the existence of a mafia at ESCOM. The 500 million brand fidelity security tender also came under the spotlight. Scopa is calling for an explanation on processes followed in awarding that security tender that triggered demonstrations outside of ESCOM's headquarters. We have a process to deal with emergency procurement, which is forms to fill, etc. So it will require, amongst other things, um, a declaration of emergency which must be duly signed and I think if I, my memory could be correct it was either the CEO or, or, or the GCE would have declared that emergency and I can um, find those documents and we can confirm that that emergency declaration was in place. In the declaration itself... I just want you to be specific. Are you not in a position to accurately recall who signed the declaration? I, I can check, check quickly, I got it. I think it was Jan, it was the COO. The process saw the head of procurement given time to furnish Scopa with evidence around the tender. A legal process at the cost of 2 million rand is underway to verify the allegations pertained in the former CEO's intelligence report. ESCOM says it remains unclear for now if that investigation was concluded and its outcome so far. Meanwhile, the second day of the hearings will see the utilities acting CEO and the COO taking to the hot seat. Katla Holohodi, SABC News, Megawatt Park in Sunning Hill.